Good, good morning. Hey, you guys. How are ya? Staying warm? Um, chest and back. It looked to me when we got started this morning to be a very long workout, but it's not. It's really good. So we're gonna do chest back for your first superset, chest back for your second superset, then chest chest for your third, back back for your fourth, and then some push-ups. Baby stuff, let's do this. 10 and 10, bench press and bent over row. So I'm gonna go on a flat to begin with. Hang on here. Let's see who's here, anybody here? Oh, I almost stayed in and then I thought, I can't stay here one more day. So I got up really early and got my car, you know, cleaned off and uh, made my way down here really safely and slowly and I'm so glad I did because how long can you stay cooped up, eh? <laughs> there we go, there's our live. Perfect, it's working. It's good. Alrighty, so chest. Ah. Um, let's keep this here. Uh, dumbbell bench press and fly, um, a row. So we're gonna do one, one exercise. And this could be a nice warm up set too, right? Let's go for two sets of this and see how you feel. Um, yeah, I, I didn't have a lot of shoveling to do. Kenny had the, uh, the um, snow blower out. So, but I know a lot of people did do shoveling. So be careful, right? It was a good workout. Okay, so you might switch weights for this. I'm gonna just use the same weight for both and use this whole superset as a warm-up set, okay? So it's a back double dumbbell row. guys who's here you guys made it Linda hello Don hello yeah yeah it's nice to be back okay uh, press And 10, nice, safe down, rock and roll it up, come right into your row. done um, super sets like this for a while or workouts that um, challenge two major muscle groups together so just be aware you might need to take more rest in between sets um, you know anything that you change up uh, forces your body to work hard again and has to figure out how to adapt to it so this would be one of those days right that might feel different all right go for it
and 10. Good job. Okay, feel all right? I keep thinking that I'm gonna be able to take my shirt off, but it's still kind of warm or cool in here. <laughs> set here. You might be ready to move up in weights. I don't know. I'm going to stick stick here. We got a key press next, which is that rotation. So again, I'm going to stick again to the same weights. And a bent over fly, rear delt fly. So you take, a, take another set of weights for that one. Okay. So one more set. Press, basic press, basic row, warm up. Oh, nice. So, rear delt fly, lighter weight. Right, I think we got 10. We got 10s all the way down. Oh, there's some 12s in there. So, uh, yeah. So, key press again. You're starting here. It's almost as if you were doing um, an Arnold shoulder press. So, it's that rotation. But for a chest press to key press. It's down here, and just keep in mind that your shoulders might not appreciate this <laughs> stimulation this morning. So, you know, make it your workout. You could actually even just do a reverse grip press. You could do a, we're gonna do a hex press next, but um, uh, you might even do like a fly at this point. If that's really aggravating to you, you could now take this to a heavier weight and do like a six to eight rep set of just basic press and go a little heavier. You gotta use some strategies and you gotta make some plans for yourself, okay? Um, and that is if um, your shoulders do not respond well. Uh, the other thing I'm thinking is you could take a really light weight and just go through the motions so that you eventually will teach that, that joint to work again in many different ways. Safe in, safe out, right? Rear delt fly. Uh, this one is 10 and 10, so, right? Now I'm starting to warm up. Feels good. Uh huh. Good. Good, good, good. We'll start with just rolling up the sleeves first and then see how it goes. Um, yeah, keep press.
job. Okay. One more set here. Then, then we got two chests. Two chest movements back to back. All right, so that's going to be intense. We're up for the game. We're warmed up now. Everything is working. Um, it should be. If not, take extra time. You know, for those shoulders, you can do these rotations. You know, you can do extra stretching. Yeah, I, it stands to reason on colder days, you're just going to feel, you know, those bones are going to feel it and hold it and your muscles are going to hold it. So take a little extra time to um, stretch it out, warm it up, mobile it, mobility, whole thing. So I think what I'm going to do with this one. Good morning, ah, Julie. Yeah, I'm good to I'm good to snowshoe today. You just tell me when. I actually um, pulled them out, and I was going to put them in my car, but I did not. Good. Oh, sorry, Linda. Okay, let's do this. That's what I'm going to do for my um, hex press, pressing those two weights together, up and down here. Remember, not so much pressure that it creates, you know, discomfort in those joints, right? They take the brunt of, sometimes they take the brunt of the, the pressure, all right? Contract enough, I mean, press enough to feel a contraction and a tightening of the muscles. And, 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 uh, and then we're going to go for a fly press combo. Now I've got eight there. It could be anywhere between four, six, eight reps, okay? Because you double that, right? Eight fly press means 16 movements. Depending on the weight you want to carry. And I want to carry heavier weight, so here we go. Let's just move on. Awesome. Good. Pow. So hex press, I'm pressing those weights together but not so much that I'm creating such tension that it's painful. There's 10. Now remember, I'm going right into more chest here with a fly press combo. There's two, there's three, four, five, seven. Okay, I got eight out of this, which means 16 reps, but I might not my next one. I have to be aware with each set, all right? And plus, I was kind of doing it a little more up-tempo. Uh, you gotta be um, thoughtful, all right? And um, it felt okay, but I, sometimes if you up-tempo, you can start bouncing at the bottom, and that's what's causing problems for shoulders, right? It's, um, the strength isn't there for the tendons and ligaments in those inner, and the, and the bigger muscles are 
you know, just muscling it up there without any attention to those little guys on the inside going, hey, don't do this to us. <laughs> oh. I like those analogies. When I make the, the muscles little people and they have feelings. <laughs> they have breaking points like the rest of us. Um, hex press. Pressing two weights together, coming a little closer. You're going to feel more in your tricep too, right? Close grip. Bench press. It's the auxiliary muscles. Okay. Stop for one second to say that shoulder is feeling a little um, pinch from that position on me. So no matter what position your arms are in for some of these movements, be aware, okay? And uh, change it, change it. Don't uh, don't work through that kind of thing. One. also <laughs> might be the point at which you're really warmed up and at your top strength and um, capacity. Like I felt strong with that one. I felt really good and warm. Sometimes it takes half a workout to get to where you're really hammering it good. That's okay. Every day is a different day. Uh, Seesaw roll and band pull down. Band pull down there for the next one. Um, I'm going to use the pull downs on my um, flex, my Nordic flex, not mine anymore, but okay, hex, And 10, yeah, it's that last two that just do a little, a little something, something, and then I just say it's okay, and then go back into it. Feels all right. Acknowledge it. For me, the six. I'm gonna do six here. Yep. You gotta call it. Seesaw row. These are the ones where um, it's um, dangling. Uh, um, you're not touching the floor, which are gorillas. Each one rests back on the floor each time. This one, you are, um, there's a word I'm looking for. And then again, band pull downs, your band, pull here, pull in front, pull behind. You could do TRX row for those ones, or I'm gonna do um, lat pull downs. Okay, awesome. Hover. I think the word is hover. I was trying to hover. <laughs> so these weights, 
dangle. Hover is a better word. Piston. And 10 makes it 20, right? 10 on each side. And then the lap pull down. Oh, that should do. Let's see. If you're using your band, you're sitting upright, pulling your band in front of your face or behind your neck. All right. Very nice. All right, watch your neck when you're kind of moving it out of the way of your band so you don't flip up your nose or you're moving it forward for your head. Um, just watch, you know, the tension and knots. All right, this is good, you guys. Lap pull down, your back is moving this way now. All right, shoulder blades depressing, and with the row, you're kind of moving in and out that way. So, two different uh, directions, focus for the big back muscles. Oh, come on, and 10. You know what starts getting tired is forearms. Forearms and the auxiliary muscles for that one. Alrighty, that's all right. Here we go for our third seesaw, and then we're gonna go push up and pull apart. So our last one will be a chest and a back, right? Ah, oh, that's scary. Seesaw. And 10, nice job. Low back is working, core is working, abs. That's an ab workout. It definitely is. Forward, forward flex position is gonna call into play all of these ab muscles, all right? And if that's um, contraindicated for you, then, um, you know, find a way that you can gradually get back to that because pretty much a, a must a must movement for the rest of our lives you know you can't not forward flex I put your shoes on <laughs> and put your boots on you gotta put your snowshoes on <laughs> um, oh my gosh here we go last set here and then we'll clean it up and head on out okay Two. Nine and ten. It feels so good. And this is a hard one to really feel. Where is it working? But when you finally feel those lats contracting at the back, <laughs> like uh, Trisha says, that cobra, that python thing comes out, and you feel really like, oh, I feel that. 
Okay, uh, here's our band for 12 and max reps, push-ups. I'm just gonna go modified, right? You're welcome to do three full ones, one full one if that's your max rep. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna shame myself into this. I'm gonna do some full ones and then drop down. And then uh, band pull, upper back. All right, delt. Good. All right, let's do this. Get out of here. And 12. There you go. I almost jipped myself out of doing those. Full push-ups after a, a chap workout. And um, I could do them. I was assuming I couldn't. Don't assume you can't. Try the hardest or try the next level to where you're at now. Just as a taste and then come back, okay? Oftentimes you'll think, oh my God, I didn't realize that I'd gotten stronger. I, I gotten... Um, you know, it's less painful. Um, you're the only one that can kind of really do that pushing, right? With common sense. Remember, watch that this one is definitely coming from your back, okay? It's not your arms just you know, muscling or um, rednecking. You're just not like forcing it out there. Those upper back muscles are contracting. That brings your arms open. Push up. Nine and ten. I got ten out of that. Good stuff. All right. Whew. One more set. I'm gonna try for 10, I might get eight, that's good. And then I'm um, just gonna do a quick stretch. We did it yesterday for back, all right? And um, your, your stretch for the chest is against that wall. Create tension and walk through a doorway, all right? Here you go. Six, come on. Seven and eight. Ha! Ah, good, I like that. Go to failure when you almost fall down. Eight. And 12. Good. Here's your stretch for that back. Pressing that hand out front. There you go. And pull your whole body back, leaving the heel of your hand attached at its spot. And then move in a direction that feels beneficial for you. There. If you want to go on and do your um, uh, Tabata, you could do it on a treadmill elliptical bike rower um uh, my cardio today is going to be snowshoeing hopefully later julie um morning oh uh so maybe uh like when the sun gets a little bit brighter so i text and we'll go out for a snowshoe um uh if, if you're shoveling again that's good be careful of you know, overuse injuries, just going always on the one side, try and go to the other side. 
and whatever, common sense, you guys know, we're all the same age, we've all been through this before, take care of yourselves, because this is what we have to keep showing up for, right? See you uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is um, legs. <laughs> Thanks, you guys.